Hello and welcome to what is going to be a tutorial on how to race a bit better. Uh, first of all, some starting information. It's going to be on the tournament server, but tricks like these are going to work anywhere as long as you remember the stats you have and to make the most of that. So what I'm going to do is pick a random level off of all time best as these are generally somewhat simple in gameplay and uh, you can perfect them with uh, some practice. So what we're going to start by doing is let's go to page 7 and let's pick alright um okay fine um oh yeah and uh, let's turn background off for the sake of not having any lag etc so uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this level first uh, fairly slowly and we're going to try to notice places where time can be saved etc we're going to try to have a general overlook of this level and uh, see how fast it can be done okay this is a very obvious start let's you can save time there okay so far it's very simplistic um, I'm looking at the minimap okay here here's some advanced stuff um, on tournament server you can jump five blocks you cannot jump six although it's close so your best bet is to analyze can't jump there so you gotta land here and looks like this is the ideal but hang on I just saw I landed on that thing up there maybe there's a way to avoid that let's see if we can make that happen yeah something like that but a bit more smooth let's keep it in the back of our heads um, this is possible but perhaps not I can see we want to save time doing something like that yeah that's good and if we do that then we'll come out something like no yeah, we'll come out something like that and we'll want to land there and do that okay we want to glitch there um, I'm not sure what we want to do here let me think let's see let's get back up there first things um, mm, I think best bet is to just gonna do something like that. Uh, it looks to me like it'd be possible to land on the farthermost uh, island of ice over there. Uh, let me have a try. Okay, that's not gonna work out, but I'm gonna land on that one, so it's all good. And yeah, I don't have to turn around here. That just means I've got to do something like that this or this whichever you prefer really uh, there's a wall here of course we're gonna have to wait no I do have to go up here okay then um let's see ah uh, yeah okay this no wait no 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 okay coming here we're gonna go ugh, we're gonna do something like that 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 that, that, and that, yeah. Just without the mess up. Okay, that's a pretty good start so far. Uh, now let's go down here, make sure we do something like that. There are no shortcuts that can be taken, right? No items, no nothing? Okay, that's good. Um, um, hmm. I'm not quite sure what to make of this. Okay, yeah, this, yeah. Okay, let's do that and now let's stick to that and I see two happy blocks down there the question being are those worth getting compared to the time gain uh, there's a lot of running in this level like straightforward running hmm and there's an item which seems to be a fairly basic sword let's make sure we remember that and with the happy blocks we can still not jump that okay that makes the happy blocks a bit more useless but we'll live with it now we can jump six blocks remember that because it might become useful uh, this is seven blocks yep right so we can't quite jump that fall down here let's see if we can do this 
without stopping. Um, yeah, kinda. It goes into a diagonal pattern here. So this level was fairly simplistic, should be able to perfect with relative ease to be honest, so now I guess let's redo and try to see if we can't make anything in these tricks. So what we're gonna do is redo and we're going to try to remember the racing line we just created because all of the things I just mentioned make for a racing line throughout this level. That's fairly obvious and that was not the point but since this is the second run, it's like test run number two, so I'm going to allow screw-ups. Basically, no matter how big they are. You never know, they could, le they could lead into a new discovery. And that was pretty good, I suppose. Um, that was terrible. That was terrible. And there's this. Let's see, what, what can we do about this? I think I'm going to have to land on that one. But that gets the job done, so I don't care. And then there's this this stuff yeah can you do that or is that too much to ask wait okay um hmm let me to think here for a moment you do hardly have to stop at all if you go this way but hmm super jumps do take time I think it's better to jump up there rather than super jump but yeah, okay. Uh, let's have a look. Is this possible? Uh, should be. I'm sure it is, but it's a kind of risky move. That means you should really only try to do it if you're going for times within one second of perfection, or two seconds of perfection. Or contests in general, because the point is to do your best. You're not hitting a certain time, you're hitting the best time. As for these happy blocks, I'm still on the fence, but... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and then there's that sword, which we do want. Uh-huh. Here we have the super jump. There's no way to get around that. Let's try if this isn't possible. Of course it's possible. Uh, the point, or what I'm going to be trying to do now, is to land that, is to stick that landing perfectly. Uh, yeah, something like that. Great. All that needs to be done is to bring that into an actual good run. So, we're to the diagonal pattern again. Try to waste as little time as possible, and uh, 232, okay, 235 for simplicity's sake, okay. Now that we've had a basic look through the level, it's time to somewhat start trying. Let's see, if, let's see what we can do with this level. Okay, I almost messed that up again. I wouldn't have been as lenient this time, because when you're at your third... Uh, or, well, I guess some people would need as many as, like, six, seven... But when you're at a high number of runs, then if you make a basic screw-up, that's takes out a large chunk of time then I'd say just start over that run isn't even worth your time eh, something like no not something like that uh, let's try to go here then um, yeah totally okay this, uh, um, <laughs> this isn't ideal so far um, hop down here do that Let's make sure we don't brush this. Okay, I brushed the wall, whatever. Uh, happy blocks. I kind of have a feeling the happy blocks. I don't know. I kind of have a feeling they don't just they don't get justified. Hmm. Still, I suppose I do need them to do this trick up here. And there is a bit of running, so I'm going to have to think about the happy blocks for a little bit. Um. In the meantime, though. Okay, that wasn't the point, but it gets the job done. <laughs> and, and of course, when you get to the end, um, you won't be able to jump six. You'll have to do a bit more jumping. So, 141.77, that's still not a good time. 
Let's try to get to a point perfected and uh, start checkpoint training, as I like to call it. Let's see. Checkpoint training is a very simple concept. Basically, it does require you to take two seconds out of your attention and you have to look at the timer for a little second. But basically what you do is you look at the timer when you're at a certain point and you make that time your base. Now, the point is to beat your base. Well, if the base is perfect, then obviously it can't. But the point is to get as close to the base, aka perfection, as possible when raising the level. And that wasn't the point. Um, and if you see that you're two seconds behind, three seconds behind, more, or if you're actually ahead of your base, then in that case you should you must improve your base your base should be perfection um, but if you are uh, quite a bit behind your base then uh, you should probably restart because yeah you want to get as close to perfection as possible and, it, and if you have the potential to reach somewhere close to perfection then you should always go for that okay to save time I think I'm gonna start doing that and this turned out to be a bad idea okay all right this is also going to be 140 something uh, low 140s I'm assuming and that was a very bad move very bad yeah 145 okay now let's see uh, what uh, what is my target time going to be let's make free checkpoints Free checkpoints sounds like plenty of enough for this level. So, what I'm going to do is make a checkpoint right up here. Right before this thing, this little cave. Checkpoint here, 1239. Now we have to remember that because now we're doing checkpoint training. Checkpoint 1, 1239. Yeah, good. And because of, our, because of me writing 1239, I kind of lost track of everything else but that's okay uh, that's not really okay though but you know whatever uh, since I had such a major screw up I I'm, I'm not doing checkpoint training for the rest of this uh, run because it'll just it'll just throw my base off too much and it won't be nowhere or anywhere close to perfection so what we're gonna do is just try our best and that wasn't the point good what we're gonna do is try to do our very best and see um, I didn't do that early did I okay good so just jump here seems to be the yeah that's the desirable solution and then double sword and hop up here pop up there pop up there pop up there pop up there and then boom Right, 135. Now, let's write this down. Just so we have it. Checkpoint 1, 1239. I generally don't write stuff down because I remember it by, um, by heart, but um, it could be practical for you viewers. So now we're going to be using 1239 as the base for getting to that location. 1239 should be perfection and as such shouldn't ever be beaten as such. Maybe we can get a 1238, but certainly not better than that. See, 1239, there it goes again. Uh, this is a terrible thing to base off of, but if I don't screw up much more then I can base off of it. It's just not a good idea. And I'll base off of it, why the hell not? Unless I fall down here. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Let's make checkpoint two.